carpus is formed by a set of short bones that articulate in a complex way. Its disposition and the number of bones that compose it varies between species, but in domestic mammals, the bones form two clear rows, the proximal, which articulates with the radius and ulna, and the distal, which articulates with the metacarpal bones. The carpus of the horse is formed by seven or eight bones that together form a convex mass at its cranial surface and is flatter and more irregular at the caudal surface, with a width that is approximately twice its height. The proximal row is aligned mediolaterally to the carporadial, or scaphoid bone, as the more medial and more voluminous bone of the proximal row. The intermediate, or lunate, is then placed which has a wedge-like shape. Its dorsal surface is greater than the palmar surface. The third in this order is the carpo ulna, or pyramidal, which is the smallest and most irregular of this row. Finally, the accessory, or pisiform, is located as an appendix that projects behind the carpus and forms, along with the palmar surface of the carporadial and intermediate bones, the carpal channel, a space through which tendons of the flexor muscles pass. The distal row of bones is formed from medial to lateral by the first carpal or trapezius, a small and often absent bone. The second carpal or trapezoid, also a small bone but constant. Third carpal or large bone, which has the greatest difference of the distal row in that it constitutes almost two thirds of the width of that row. And finally, the fourth carpal, or hamate. In ruminants, the proximal row is also formed by the carporadial, intermediate, carpoulna, and accessory bones. However, in the distal row, there are only two bones, the trapezoid capitatum, formed by the union of the carpals two and three, and the hamate. <laughs>